Um, fair warning before this video starts, uh, if you don't want to feel like you're losing every single brain cell in your head, uh, don't watch this video. Uh, trust me, you will lose every single brain cell. <laughs> Hello everyone, Endy here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a video that is um, criticizing both animation memes and the Gotcha Life community within one. Uh, again, fair note, if you don't want to feel like you're losing all of your brain cells, just, just don't watch this video. Watch, like, any other video of mine, please. Like, this guy, like, actually made me lose, like, half of my brain cells. Yeah, it's literally just 17 seconds long. I mean, of course, it takes a while to make animations, I can tell you that, but one thing that I've noticed about many animation memes is they reuse shots over and over and over and over again because they're too lazy to actually do something original. If I had a dollar for every time I heard this one, I'd be rich. Seriously, this isn't an original criticism towards animation memes at all. Please come up with something original when criticizing something like this. What even is this? Like, what's the point to it? And why is it called Icon? Bonus video. Uh, great, I got to edit more shit. What do you mean, edit more shit? You don't edit, bruh. Now, the next, like, four minutes of this video boil down to him scrolling down on the Gotcha Life search and making fun of titles and thumbnails. Yes, it's as boring as it sounds. Literally, he says nothing of integral importance to his points, or really saying... He doesn't really say anything, to be fair, so... Um, yeah, he... Overall, this point, this entire, like, four minutes or whatever the fuck was really pointless in the grand scheme of the video. And overall, I don't know why he even bothered kept keeping it in. Um, yeah, but let's just, uh, get to the part where he chooses a video. Yeah. I am not ready for this, alright? I'm telling you guys right now. <laughs> See, he laughs at this, but YouTube has a whole system called, uh, COPPA. And, um, if this were identified as a video that were directed towards children, and not the demographic that, say, it was, then I believe the person would be charged $42,000 because of that one mistake. So, logically, that makes sense. I mean, nobody wants to pay $42,000 for a mistake like that. So, he's laughing at this. But I guarantee you, uh, he won't be laughing when, uh, <laughs> someone gets fined $42,000 for a mistake. I mean, oh, I mean, we are the most powerful mafia gang. Bullshit. <laughs> they censor the bullshit. That's how you know it's 13 plus. We will soon become more powerful. So don't get too comfortable of your rank. Oh, really? <gasps> Oh, I'm gonna kill you. So that's how it's gonna be. Game on. Uh <laughs> oh, there comes the murder. There comes the 13 plus. This man with his half brain cell said, Dare to murder, dare to murder. Like, no shit, it said mafia in the title. Fuck you expect them to fucking hug it out? It's like, I gotta get some information on them. That was peak commentary. That really added to your point there. Um, that's the end of this video because really the rest of this video just boils down to him, uh, criticizing grammar. Like, uh, they say she is the most powerful mafia and, like, then he corrects that grammar, uh, nice correcting someone on their uh, grammar when if you knew what they meant you know that hey that still makes sense so why are you complaining about it plus uh oh typing error the whole thing bad like that's not how it works but um overall this video was uh pretty garbage and you guys had the luxury of uh not watching the entire thing 
But uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, leave a like, uh, share it with your friends, uh, subscribe, and uh, do all of that, or uh, die. Um, your mother. Jump in the